Hi, everybody. Welcome to the 45 minute Pilates workout. For this Pilates workout, I don't do warm up because it's short and I want to get the most benefits from this workout as possible. So, if you're watching this on the recording, please stop. Make sure your body's warmed up both with, you know, activity so the blood is moving through it and with uh, stretch. So, today is going to be an all side day. So, everything we're going to do is going to be side. And so we're going to start, I'm going to say we're going to start on our knee. Uh, we are going to start on our knees. So um, my picture went away. Uh, okay, hang on. Oh, somebody else's uh, voice was going through. Okay, um, where was I? So we're just going to start by establishing our posture by kneeling down, and then we're going to move to the side. But if you have um, hip concerns, because we are going to be lying on our hips, you might want to get a towel to put under your very slender hips. So starting on our knees just to get position. So you want to pull your belly button to the spine, head over tail. So the first uh, side position we're going to do is going to be a modified plank. So we're going to put our arms out to the side. We're going to bring ourselves down to one arm and take one leg up. Now, if this is not comfortable for you because you can't be on your knee, feel free to come down and bring your leg under you and bring your leg up. Also, if you can't hold onto your uh, arm or wrist or shoulder. So that's a couple of modifications for that. Okay, from here, we've got a nice pointed foot. And the foot is pointing, the front of the foot is forward to the, um, to the screen. Arm is right over the top. So we're trying to create alignment between one arm and the other. So you're gonna curl back and extend two, Good job. Three, nice. Four, five. This is gonna be a series. Six, seven, good job. Eight, so you constantly wanna check nine and make sure that whole chest is open. 10, 10 more. So watch that arm of drifting forward or you tilting forward. 10, nine, eight, nice. Keep it pointed, seven. Six, good job. Five, four, nice. Three, perfect. Two, now hold it back here on one, flex the foot, push back. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. You can also be on a block, uh, nine, or holding a weight, eight, if this is too much for you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, extend the leg. All right, we're going to take the arm over the head. The knee is gonna to come to the ceiling and extend. Two, good job. And again, three, you can be down here. Four, five, if hanging out on that knee is too much. Six, seven, or on that wrist and elbow. Eight, shoulder, nine, good. 10 more, 10. Nine, exhale out, eight, exhale out, seven. See how everything should be one long line? So your fingers, six, and your toes are coming out to one long line. Four, three, two, let's pulse it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, knee to the ceiling. Make sure that knee to the ceiling. Nine, eight, seven, six, I'm the one with the weird knees. Five, four, three, two, and one. And back into that position. I'm gonna bring myself back up. Last thing, knees to the front. You take it one. Good, two, good job. I'm gonna come off my knee. Three, you can stay up there. Four, good. Arm is straight up. Five, six, seven. You've got it all pointed. Eight. So we're getting the back of the leg in the glute. Nine. And we're going to get a little bit of a lower oblique. Ten. Ten more. Always transverse abdominal. Nine. Eight. Good job. Seven. Six. The last five. Four more. Three more. Two more. Let's do our pulse. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, we're coming over to the other side. 
So we're going to do sequences alternating side to side. All right, so I don't want to do too many sequences on one side because I'm afraid when I get to the other side, I'll forget what I did. All right, let's take it. Curl and one, curl and two, three. Make sure you have your alignment. Four, head over tailbone. Five, six, pointed foot. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Good. Three, four. Good job. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, here we go, flex the foot, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, arm overhead, Re uh, leg to the ceiling, 1, good job, 2, I got to get off my knee, 3, good, 4, Perfect. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Good. Ten, nine, push it. Eight, extend it out. Seven, it's so much prettier in the modified plank than it is down here. Six, because you get that long line, fingers to toes. Four, three, two, pulse at 20, 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The knee goes back to the front. Take it forward and 1. Keep going. 2. Don't extend that leg very far. 3. Good. 4. got to keep it back. 5, 6. You keep it long. 7 if you can. Eight, we just modify. This is the lesson here. Nine, ten more. Good. Ten, even the teachers have to modify. Nine, eight, good. Seven, our bodies are human. Six, last five, four, three. Good job. Two, let's pulse it. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Everybody come down and get long on your mat. We'll start on this side, the second sequence. Now, one thing that we're going to do is make sure your hand is coming out of your shoulder. So it's not tilting forward. So make sure it's coming up out of your shoulder. You can bend it and lie on your, tri on your tricep, or you can keep it long. Now, you want to get your hip tucked under and those hips ceiling to floor. Point the feet so the legs are, the, both the legs are off the floor. I gotta soften the bottom one. And we're gonna lift and lower for 20. One, now not very high. Two, and we're stopping at the top. Three, good job. Four, belly button to the spine. Five, exhale down. Six, exhale down. Inhale, seven, exhale down. Eight, nice pointed leg. But let the foot flop off the ankle. Ten. One. Good. Now on the on the last one, we're going to hold for 20, not pulse. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. This should be really talking to your hip. Hold it here for 20. 19, not too high, 18. I don't want you to break into that hip joint, 17. So I want this all to be for 16, 15, 14, 13. Your bottom leg is straight. I know mine it isn't. 11, 10, that leg may never be straight again. <laughs> 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower down now. I want you to stack those legs. And I want you to split them so the top leg is behind the bottom leg. It's not a big split. So if you look at the degree of split, right, you're still inside your hips. Now your arms can be up or they can, your arm can be up or can be in front of you. Check the top of your body, make sure you haven't curled forward. Okay, we're gonna lift the back leg. Two, so this is a different angle. Three, again, hold it at the top, four, and exhale down. 
Inhale, hold, five, exhale, six, don't let anything rock, seven, good, eight, nine, 10, you don't land, you just graze, 10, hardly touch, nine, or don't touch at all. You wanna feel the extension in this hip, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now let that foot land. Now one of the things that's gonna to happen today because we're doing so much uh, repetitive area work, things that feel easy when you do them singularly are gonna feel a little bit harder today because we're weakening. Now front leg, soften it. So just soften the knee, lift and one. Lift and two. Lift, now you're trying to do this without moving your body, four, five, so keep that anchor, six, so however you need to do it, seven, don't let your body rock, eight, it wants to rock, nine, it wants to put you back, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, good, seven, six, the last five, four, three, two, and you hold it up there for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now you're going to hollow out by lifting up in the, under your a four under your uh, armpit. You can take this arm that's available. You're gonna reach toward the front leg, back leg up, back leg, front leg two, front leg, back leg three, front, back leg, front leg four, front leg, back leg five, back leg, front leg six. This way we get everything working as a system, seven, Back leg, front leg, eight. Front leg, back leg, nine. Back leg, and you keep looking forward. Back, front leg, back leg, 10. Back leg, front leg, nine. Don't look at your hand. You can let your hand do it by itself. Good. You just go back where you came from, front to back. Good. We have a few more to go. I stopped counting, but I think there are four more. Four and reach, three, and reach, two, and reach, and one, hold it here, now we pulse, 20, 19, 18, toward that front leg, 16, 15, 14, you'll feel that everywhere, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, now to the back. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, I'm feeling it, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so now we're going to lift both legs at the same time. Good. Don't push into the floor, right? So if you feel like you'll do that, put your hand up. Make sure you're still in alignment. Lift and one. Don't let him touch. Two, three, four, and this will be a hold. Five, six, exhale down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten to go. Ten, don't forget to pause at the top. Nine, eight, seven. Six, you feel that lengthening of everything. Five, it feels amazing. Four, three, two, and hold it up here for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and lower down on the one. We're coming back into this position, but we're going to go to the other side first. I'd like you to roll over onto your belly. 
and sit back in cow pose. This is one of the easiest ways to get to the other side. So you get a stretch in between. And now your upper body is at this end and you can put your lower body down the back. So let's find that alignment again. We're stacking those legs. Take the arm out of the shoulder. So watch it going forward, okay? So I hope this uh, the little mat is helping. Point both legs, make sure they're off the floor. We're gonna lift and lower the top one. Two, three, four. We're gonna clear up the bottom one. Five, six. Is that hip tucked under? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. One, two, three. Good job. Four, five. Bottom leg off the floor. Six, seven, eight, nine. And hold it here. Twenty, nineteen. 18, you're gonna feel all this, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stack those legs and then split them. So front leg goes back, back leg goes front, or bottom leg, top leg goes back, bottom leg goes front. We're gonna lift and lower the back leg, 1, and 2 and three, and four. So you want that front leg pointed. It doesn't have to be off the floor, but you pointed six. You haven't pointed so hard, seven, it's levitating a little bit. Eight, nine, don't let the knee roll down. 10, 10 more. That's one thing it wants to do once you roll toward the floor. Two, three, good job. Four, five, six, good. Seven, you got it. Eight, nine, and hold it up here, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, lower down. So you're going to anchor this back leg, soften the front leg, and lift and lower, 1, and two. Now, if you're not getting the kind of range of motion that you like, you can also bend the leg three, and you'll get more range of motion. Four. It's not how high, five, you know that. It's about how much you're using the muscle. Six, seven. So this actually encourages you to use the joint more. Eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine. Don't push it to the floor with your back leg. Eight, or your hand. Seven, six. Good job. Five and four, three more, and two, and you're gonna hold it up there for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and lower down on one. Okay, you're gonna extend your arm, hollow out under your arm. You're going to go front, back, one, back, front, two, front again. Where are your eyes? Three, they're moving forward, four, front, back, five, back, front, six, front, back, seven, back, front, eight, front, back, nine, back, front, ten, front, back, 10, back, front, nine, front, back, eight, uh, eight, back, front, seven, keep lifted, six, good, five, you got it, four, I know this looks like nothing, but I'm feeling it, three, two, and back, front, and one, lower down. Okay, you can curl your arm if you want to. All right, we're gonna lift and lower both legs. Oh, we're gonna pulse. Pulse at the front, 20, 19, stay up, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, yeah, 12, we want this, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, oh, 6, this feels so good, 5, 4, 3, 2, the back, 20, 
19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, now we lower down. We're going to lift both legs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, good, 9, 10, 10 more, 10, 9, oh, this feels so good, 8, which means it's aching, 7, I can feel it working, 6, 5, 4, good job, 3, and 2, and hold it up there for 20, 19, 18, breathe, get long, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, we're going to go to our third sequence. We'll start on this side. We're staying in this position. Make sure your hip is tucked under. This is one of my favorites. I know I do it a lot, but I think it does so much good work for the obliques. It's one more feet out a little bit. Okay. You keep the bottom leg pointed, but it stays on the ground. You take the front leg, you take it to the front, touch the foot down, and back. Two, back. Three, you're staying very close to the feet. Four, the foot. Five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Don't turn the foot. Ten, you want the foot to land. Ten. Nine, you're not shifting, so you're not moving back and forth in the body. Eight, good. Seven, six, I love all sides today. Five, four, good job. Three, nice. Two, and one. Good, now restack it, because I want you to really think about where your starting mark is. So your starting mark was right in front of your foot before. So can you double that? So it's one foot, two foot, right? So one and take it back a little bit higher. A little bit higher to the back. Two, nice. Three, I can't believe he's staying under the mat. Four, good job. Five, six. Are you sure you like it under that mat? Seven, mister. Don't let your foot turn. It stays pointed eight, it lands. Nine, make sure you make a real arc. Ten, ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Good job. Two steps away. Five in the back. And four. So one of the things I like to think of, three, is the first circle. Two just comes over the hip. The second one goes hip height. And the third one, shoulder height, two and one. Stack those feet. Put your foot down. Take another foot and then another. So there's your last one. This is going to go to shoulder height, one. And then you're going to get it back there. I keep running into my furniture. Two. Good. Three. If I go this way, it might work. Four. Good. Five. Six, this is really something. Seven, isn't it great you get to do this all just lying down? Eight, good. Nine, ten, ten more. Ooh. Ten, nine. So when you work your legs, it's always your oblique muscles or your or your uh, transverse muscles or your primary for seven. Good. Six, just wanted to remind you. Five, so that's how you're doing core here, even though you're feeling hips. Three, good. Two, and a one. All right, so in this case, getting to the other side, we're gonna roll onto our back. We're gonna curl up and reach. We used our upper bodies a lot. Drop the shoulders down, roll the shoulders, and then we'll take it to the other side. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to be a little bit on my diagonal here, but it's still the straight position. I'm just trying not to run into somebody. 
So the legs are tight. We do the drop. Um, front and back leg. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. You got it. No moving the rest of the body, right? No wiggling. Two. So this is it. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Good. And 20. Nice. Stack your legs. Let's make the mark. One foot, then the next. Just a hip height. And two. Now make sure you get back there. Three. Good. Four. Nice job. Five. So just help me. Six. Good. Come straight. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. One. Good golly, Miss Molly. Two. Three, good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Stack your legs. All right, you're going to now find the final position. So it's one, two, three. And we're going shoulder height. One. Land the foot. Two. Nice. Keep everything without turning. Three. Keep going. Four. So the knee does not shift. Keep going. Five. Lift and lower. Six. Neutral upper body, belly button to the spine. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Good job. Ten more. Ten. Nine. I can really feel this. You can feel this. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one, and that's the end of this sequence. So the final sequence, I think it's going to be final, is going to be in a pike position. Do you remember pike? Do you remember pike? You have your elbow back, your glutes back, your knees come up, and since we're going to start with clamshell, we want our knees across from our hips. The knees come down and the toes come out and point them, and we're going to lift and lower. One, good. Two, so make sure you're aligned. Three, the hand is over the elbow. Four, or in front, but not leaning on it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, good. Ten, ten more. One, good. Two, good job. Three, I'm going to have you hold it. Four, nice. Five, Six, nice. Seven, eight, nice job. Nine, and hold it here for 20. 19, keep going. 18, 17, I need to double check what happened. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one, and bring it down. So you know the uh, next part of climb show is always the extension. So you open, extend, close, and in. Open, extend, bend, and close. Open, extend, bend, and three. Good. Extend, bend, and four. Five, six, nice. Seven. Good job. Rooster's having a violent dream. Eight. 
He's chasing something. Nine. And 10 more. Make sure you hit that 10. Make sure you hit that extension. Nine, so you're really making that like dynamic. Eight, push it out there. Seven. Six. The last five. Can you hear him Four. Good. And three. That's why he's just under that net. Two. Good. And one. Hold it up there. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring that leg down behind the other leg. Make sure you're on your hip. You could have rolled back to your glute. In the meantime, point that front leg. You're going to lift to the knee and lower. 2, 3, good job, 4, 5, Six, nice. Seven, again, keep your upper body open. Eight, exhale down. Nine, exhale down. Inhale, exhale down. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, good. Seven, six, good job. Five, four, you got it. Three, and two, and hold it up here. Twenty. 19, no pulsing, 18, we're doing a lot of static work today, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, I'd like you to take this back over and step it forward just a little bit. Put the front, the bottom of the front foot on the inside of the back leg. We're trying to lift and lower. Two, three, good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're getting in and out of thigh. Ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Last five and four, three more. And this one will have a pulse. Two, let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, to get to the other side on this one, we'll take a stretch to the center. Put your legs to the center and then stretch forward. Big inhale and exhale and we lower. Drop those shoulder blades. Slide yourself up and then you're on the other side. So, elbow back, glutes back. Knees come forward, then drop down. Toes go up. One. Make sure your hips are tucked under. Two. Three. Elbow under the shoulder. Four. Good job. Five. Take your time. Six. Exhale down. Seven, exhale down. Eight, get into that uh, belly. Nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, you've got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. So, you remember the we're going to hold it open for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, pull it in, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's do the extension. Down and up, extend and bend 1. Down and up, extend 2. Down and up, extend three. Down and up, extend four. Down and up, extend five. Down and up, extend six. Down and up, extend seven. Down and up, extend eight. Down and up, extend nine. 
down and up, 10 to go. Down and up, extend, 10, down and up, extend, nine, down and up, extend, eight, down and up, extend, seven, down and up, extend, six, down and up, extend, five, down and up, extend, four, down and up, extend, three, down and up, extend, two, down and up, hold it up there for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Make sure you don't go back on your shoulder. This leg goes down. This one's the front soft. Good. Lift to the knee and lower. 2. Good job. Try not to roll onto your uh, glute. 4, 5. Now, if you're having any shoulder issues, just come down. 6. It's the same movement. 7. Get a little more joint support here. 8. You're not as isolated, nine, but you're still working all the muscles. 10, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good job. Five, four, three, two, and you're gonna hold it up there for 20, 19, 18, 17, I have roses all over my 16, 15, bottom 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower that leg down. Walk the back leg forward a little bit. The front leg, the bottom of the foot goes into the side of the, the leg that's on the mat. Lift and lower. Two, you're on your last one. Three, holy cow. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four. This one will have a pulse. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do it. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to start our stretch right here on our side. Yeah, scoot those knees up. You take this top arm and you roll it around and open into a spinal twist right here. Try to drop that shoulder down. Keep those knees together. Scoop them up as much as you can. Breathe into it. Now bring the arm back around. Push into the mat. Come up onto your elbow. Extend both legs. Take the top leg into a quad stretch. Now, knee to the head, take the leg up, rotate the ankle one direction and then the other. Good, then you're gonna drop down in front of the other thigh, push yourself into a spinal twist. Good. Lift all the way through. Big inhale and exhale, head and shoulder traps, spiral up like the spiral staircase. All of those steps that I say, open up again. Inhale back to center, and we're gonna take this front leg into our pigeon, we pigeon today. So take it across, come onto your arms, repeat the leg under, hips are facing down, they're not necessarily touching. Good. And then come on down to the elbows. And then push yourself up and stack your knees and take yourself down to the other side. Right, right here. Stack your arms. Circle the arms out. All right, you got your spinal twists. Scoot those knees up. Have a nice deep breath right here. Try to get that shoulder down in the back without moving these legs. Pulling up from the other side. 
then circle around and come up onto your elbow, extend your legs, and let's and take it into a quad stretch. I can't do quad stretch. Breathe into it. Good job. Knee to the head, take the leg up, rotate the ankle one direction and the other, and then reach it, reach it, reach it, and then drop it down in front of the other leg and come to your side. Good. Big inhale and exhale and rotate. And you have to prepare, come back. You're gonna drop that knee into your pigeon position. Move your hips so that they face downwards. You'll be start on your hands. Get that nice stretch in the back. And then come on down, all the way down and move to the front glute. And then push off. We're coming to the end here, I want you to do open butterfly. Sorry, my knee just got a little overused today. And lean forward. Get those inner thighs. Drop those shoulder blades. Make sure that you're getting a nice flat back here. This is a hinge, not a curl. And you're gonna push up and then exhale all the way down. Did that pick you up? You finally woke up? Okay. And then curl yourself up, take those legs out in front of you. That was an um, interesting workout today, a little limited in its scope, but I think we got all the core parts. So that's pretty good. Let's breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, two more up and down. And last time, thank you for coming.